Hello everyone, welcome to VMware and YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to install and configure VMware ESXi 7.0. So VMware ESXi is a hypervisor from VMware. Uh, VMware is a market leader in virtualization. So this is the base of your virtualization. So basically uh, your VMware ESXi is a hypervisor which gets directly installed into your uh, hardware and it partition your hardware and it helps you to create a multiple virtual machines on a single hardware so i have attached the iso image as like any uh, os installation we have to uh, you know like a connect attach the iso image or cd drive of esxi installation cd and reboot your system uh, to boot from uh, the esxi installation iso so here I am going to install it in on a nested environment, which is nothing but I created a virtual machine in VMware Workstation, and I'm I'm going to create in top of uh, install the ESX on top of that. So if you are, um, so the installation CD is loaded, so it shows the welcome uh, to VMware ESX installation. To continue the installation, uh, hit enter. To continue the installation so basically uh, if you are looking for how to create a virtual machines in vmware uh, workstation uh, uh, just click on the note um, i'll put a note here so you can uh, click on this so you can continue uh, to installation so it will scan for the available hard disk so i have one local hard disk which is virtual disk which is created here which is 100 gb capacity so i'm going to install the esxi on this device so if you want to get the additional details we can press f1 to get the details of that particular uh, disk so it shows what is the model or vendor since i i told i'm i am going to install this uh, esxi on in on top of a uh, virtual machine it shows virtual disk and uh, it shows the size all these things select usd default for the keyboard layout if you are um, uh, if your preference is on different language you can choose a different language as well enter the root password so this will be the root password for your esxi um, server once the installation is completed we are going to use this root password to log into and manage the esxi host okay so confirm uh, the root password again so this is a standard error because uh, it may not support the future releases since I'm installing it on a, a virtual machine. This is unexpected. Hit enter to continue with the installation. So installer is configured to install ESXA on this particular disk image. So we are ready for the installation. Hit enter. So the installation of ESXA will be very quick. It's very light. So once the installation is completed, it will restart and it, it loads the ESXi and it boots into the ESXi once the installation is completed. So it's almost 43% uh, completed. Let's uh, wait and watch for the installation. So once uh, the installation is completed, it allows us to create a multiple virtual machine in top of it so that it partitions your hardware resources like memory and CPU and it provides that resources to the virtual machine. So in, inside the virtual machine, you can install uh, multiple operating system, any operating systems like uh, Linux, Windows, uh, Ubuntu, Red Hat, anything like. So installation is completed. So it asking us to uh, remove the attached media like CD or DVD or ISO images and re reboot the server so once the reboot of the server has been completed so it started loading the VMware ESXi on the hardware so it will load all the uh, modules and everything it load the VM kernel modules and everything uh, uh, during the boot up so once the boot up is completed uh, we can uh, so we didn't configure anything during the installation apart from the ESXi password, right? So we should need an uh, IP address and uh, other IP uh, related information host name and other things to uh, Access this server. So once we um, the ESXi server has been booted I'm going to explain you that how to uh, you know like configure uh, IP settings and uh, DNS and host name uh, for the ESXi host so once the configuration is done, uh, we are ready to manage it and create a virtual machine. So still uh, my, my ESXi server is booting up. It, it's starting up all the uh, services on the ESXi. It's the final stage of booting. 
okay the esxi is booted so it shows uh, my ipv4 and ipv6 and it is waiting for dscp uh, so it's always not it's not it's not recommended to have a dscp ip for your esxi host because it, it will be in future it will be hosting an uh, uh, you know like critical servers to log in uh, press f2 it will ask you for uh, a root username and password enter the root and password uh, for the root which we specified press f2 so if you want to uh, reconfigure the root password we can set the root, root password next is to configure management network so management network is a network which will be used to so i have only one network adapter in this virtual machine so if you have uh, multiple network adapters in your uh, uh, hardware it will be listed out here and it also shows whether it is connected or not so you, we can um, uh, press d to see the details about that particular network adapter hit enter so um, we can also specify the vlan here so if you are uh, so if you are uh, doing it it's it's based on how did you configure a vlan tagging at your physical switch so if you have configured on vlan uh, tagging so we may need to specify the vlan id here for this esxs to reach outside uh, so hit uh, ipv4 so as we said like it is always uh, recommended to set the static ip address for uh, esxi installation uh, scroll down and select the option set static ipv4 address hit a space um, button uh, to select the static IPv4 addresses and uh, specify the IP address for the ESXA host. Here I'm specifying 192.168.0.165 and specify the subnet mask for this particular network. Specify the default gateway. Hit enter. So this will be the management network for our ESXA host. So once installation and configuration done, uh, we are going to use this IP address to connect to the ESXA from SSH or from the web browser, or we use the same IP address to be managed from vCenter server. Okay, so if you are having an IPv6, uh, we can set the IPv6 configuration. So I'm not going to use IPv6 here. If you are not using IPv6, we can disable the IPv6 uh, configuration. Uh, but if you are selecting the disable IPv6, we, it will automatically, re the, your ESXA host will restart uh, to disable the IPv6 configuration. As of now, I'm not going to disable it. Uh, so specify the DNS server configuration. Here also uh, select to use the following DNS server IP addresses and specify the primary DNS servers. And if you have a secondary DNS server, you can also specify. So I, I don't have a secondary DNS. I'm just for the namesake, I'm specifying 0 0.2 just for a demo and specify the host name for the ESXi host. So I'm specifying MDI if an ESXi iPhone 01 as my host name. So this will be the host name. Uh, you should have to create on a DNS record uh, based on this host name and IP addresses. So you can also specify the DNS suffix for your uh, DNS domain. So my domain is like md.lab. So I'm specifying the suffixes here, md.lab, hit OK. So we have configured the uh, network settings. Hit escape to go back and it will ask us to apply the uh, apply changes and restart the management network. Basically, uh, the re management network restart is required to apply the IP settings which we have specified. So here it is. The IP address has been configured. Let's uh, log in back to the server using root and uh, root password. Hit F2. So we saw how to configure and management network. So let's uh, 
see how can we manually restart the ma management network so if if there is any issue in uh, reaching the network so we can use this option like ma uh, restart management network so basically this will disconnect the management network if, you, if it is managed from the vCenter server or if you are connected to the web, web client uh, so uh, this is uh, very useful when you are troubleshooting the ESXi network issue, something like that. So we can also test the management network. Basically, it performs the ping of uh, the gateway, uh, whatever the gateway we configured and DNS, primary DNS and secondary DNS configuration. As I already told, I don't have a secondary DNS, which is 192.0.2. So it is not uh, showing a OK up here. That's fine because it doesn't exit. Um, hit escape to cancel. And this is network restore option. So if you did any misconfiguration in the network and uh, the server was not able to reach via network, we want to restore back to the old network. We can use a network restore option. And configure keyboard uh, during the installation, we specified on uh, English. If you want to change the different language, we can choose this option. Next is troubleshooting option. This is basically an ESXA shell. Uh, so ESXA shell is uh, uh, nothing but a shell. We can access it from the uh, console from the DCI. If you are using ILO or ID rack, you have access to the console of your ESXA server. We can directly uh, log into the command prompt of uh, ESXA if you enable the, enabled the ESXA shell. Uh, so here I uh, hit enter to enable the ESXA. You can press Alt F1. So it will automatically switch to the switch to the ESXA shell login. We can log into root and with the root password so that uh, we have access to the, um, you know, like a shell of ESXA. We can run all the command and everything, right? Okay, so next is enable SSH. So we need to enable an SSH to access the ESXA server from PuTTY or something so that we can manage it remotely. ESXA, we don't need to come to, an, uh, to open the hardware console to manage this, right? So we can manage, we can connect and manage the ESXA host from SSH. So go to uh, SSH and hit enter, it automatically enable. So modify DCI uh, ideal time timeout. This is basically when you log DCI is uh, this is a DCUI, and um, so when we log in to, via the console of ESXA host, uh, so this is uh, we can access the DCI prompt. We can set the timeout value for here. And next is restart management agents. There are some of the services and agents which is responsible for uh, uh, management of ESXA, something like, uh, you know, like HostD, VPXT, VPXC or some of the management uh, agents. So if you, if, you, if you see some issues in managing or connecting to the ESXA or something is not responding, we can, uh, the first thing to try is uh, restart the management agents. So from the DCA, we can uh, use this option, restart management agent or if you connect to an SSH, we can uh, restart the management agent using, uh, you know, like a service.ss command. I, I'll talk about this in later. So we talked about some of the troubleshooting options. Let's come back. So uh, next option is view system logs. So we can view the system logs from the DCI console as well. So press one to see the syslog information, two to see the VM kernel. VM kernel is a kernel of ESXi and we can see the management agent related logs or anything like that right uh, so let me show you can press 2 uh, to see the vm kernel related logs so it will show the real time log of your esxa host if you press 2 and if you want to uh, go back we can uh, press q to quit we are back so we can also see the support information like uh, what is the serial number of the uh, this uh, serial number, we can see the what is the license number as of now. Uh, we didn't assign the license, it's going with the evolution mode. Uh, we can also use this option reset system configuration basically if you want to reset to reset to the uh, similar level like uh, what after the installation it also resets your uh, root password and everything so if you want to reset uh, your ESXA configuration back to um, the stage where once the installation is completed we can use this option reset system configuration so basically if you did any misconfiguration you can do so we have configured all the settings and now we can see the uh, host name and IP addresses so we can uh, open up the browser to connect to the ESXi host we can use SSH or uh, we can connect it to the um, host client so we can access HTTPS and uh, ESXi server name or IP addresses so it will ask it will provide the prompt 
to log into the ESXi server from the host client. This is called as host client. So log in with your root credential, enter root and specify the password for your root user account. So from this uh, uh, host client, we can configure a lot of things. We can uh, add a storage, we can create on virtual machine, we can configure additional network settings, we can configure NTP settings. There are a lot of things we can perform from the uh, host client. I will talk about uh, how can we configure the things from the host client uh, in an upcoming video. So uh, we have done with the installation and configuration of VMware ESXi uh, 7.0. I hope uh, this is uh, informative for you. Uh, please, please do subscribe to our channel and also, um, you know, uh, you can press the bell icon to get the latest updates about VMware Arena. You can also visit www.vmwarearena.com to read the articles related to the VMware uh, technologies, a lot of uh, articles related to the VMware technologies. So that's it. We come to the end of this uh, video. Uh, thank you so much. Please, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.